15 Things to Do and 6 Not to Do in Sydney, Australia Travel Guide. 11 million tourists are drawn to Sydney's stretches of beaches and pristine bay each year. It is one of the liveliest cities in the world, which has more than 5 million inhabitants, so much so that it is the most populous city in Oceania. One of the places that many tourists dream of visiting, both to discover its natural beauty and to discover its culture. The history of the Australian city begins in 1778, when the Anglo-Saxon Arthur Philip founded a prison settlement there. It became a place of detention for a long time and gradually became a landing place for many English and Irish immigrants. The Sydney area is embraced by the Pacific Ocean to the east and the Blue Mountains to the west. 1. Bondi Beach If you've seen the famous film Point Break, you know what we're talking about. Bondi Beach is one of Australia's most iconic beaches. Located only a few kilometers from the city, it is a surfer's paradise due to its high and sometimes indomitable waves. It is no coincidence that its name Bondi derives from the way in which the aborigines called this beach, that is, Bundi, which really means surf. Speaking of surfing, Bondi Beach is also the place to learn to surf. Here, tourists, but also locals, can enroll in full immersion courses or in one of the many schools scattered along the coast. 2. Sydney Opera House Construction of the Sydney Opera House began in 1957 and it opened in 1973. Already at the time, his project did not leave indifferent. In fact, it was the winner of a well-known International Design Award. The Sydney Opera House is a true architectural gem that stands on the shores of Sydney Harbour. If you want a tip, go to the promenade in front of the Opera House to take pictures. It will give you the perfect perspective. If you wish, you can also take a boat tour to see the building from all angles. The Sydney Opera House has a self-cleaning white granite roof whose shape was inspired by the white sails of ships. It is not only famous for its architecture, but also for the shows that you can come and see. 3. Sydney Harbour Bridge Built between 1923 and 1932, to improve the viability of the city of Sydney, the bridge soon became its symbol, so much so that it was recognized as a national heritage in 2007. The Sydney Harbour Bridge connects the CBD and the North Shore and is suitable for both motorized vehicles and pedestrians. For a long time, it was considered the tallest bridge in the world, 134 meters above sea level. But even if it lost this record for years, it still holds the title of widest bridge in the world at 50 meters. The bridge is also known as the coat hanger, due to its arched shape made entirely of steel which resembles a coat hanger. 4. Darling Harbour Darling Harbour is not only a port where you can watch the sea and its many moving boats, it is also, and above all, a very lively pedestrian area of the city. If you love nightlife and entertainment, Darling Harbour is the perfect area. It's impossible to get bored here. Shopaholics can take a trip to the Harbourside Shopping Center. Revelers will find dozens of nightclubs where they can dance until the morning, such as Cockle Bay Wharf. Plus, you will find trendy bars and restaurants. But Darling Harbour is not just about music and entertainment. There are also several interesting museums to visit, such as Madame Tussauds and the Powerhouse Museum. The Sydney Aquarium is also in this area, as in Sydney Wildlife World. 5. Taronga Zoo, Sydney Taronga Zoo in Sydney is a great place to spend the day and is also one of the most visited attractions in the city. It is not a structure that exploits animals. Indeed, the Taronga Zoo in Sydney is famous throughout the world for its conservation and restocking programs. Here, you will find over 4,000 animals of 350 different species. Australia has many endemic species, and the delicate balance of the world's largest island challenges the survival of some, such as platypuses. Taronga Zoo, therefore, accepted the challenge of breeding platypuses in order to better study and protect them. 6. Sydney Royal Botanic Gardens Sydney's Royal Botanic Garden is considered one of the finest botanic gardens in the world and is also one of the largest. Inaugurated in 1816, centenary species are preserved inside that really deserve to be seen. The position of the park is particularly interesting because in some places, it overlooks the Opera House. Walking in such a well-kept, luxuriant garden, surrounded by peace and the singing of birds, while being able to admire the Sydney skyline is an enchanting experience to say the least. The Royal Botanic Garden is not only a beautiful green space, but also a place where you can perform various interesting activities. 7. Sea Life Sydney Aquarium At the Sydney Aquarium, you will have the opportunity to see thousands of animals up close, around 13,000 to be exact. Inside the structure, you will be able to explore different settings and themes that will make you really immerse yourself in the underwater world. 
There are 14 different paths that complement each other and explain how marine life works and the history of some fish species. Sea Life Sydney Aquarium is more than just an aquarium, it's a living museum of aquatic life. In addition to fish, you can meet seals, penguins, dolphins, and many other marine animals. But the main attraction is the transparent tunnel where you can walk while sharks, rays, and other fish swim over your head and around you. An indescribable and unforgettable emotion for young and old. 8. Fun Fair Luna Park Sydney is a large amusement park that has been around since the 1930s. After being closed for a few years, it was taken over by new owners and today it is once again the favorite place of entertainment for young and old. Whether you're alone or with the family, thrill-seeking or, well, you prefer to keep your feet firmly on the ground, you'll always find something fun to do here. Roller coasters, launch towers, ferris wheel, rides for kids, games of skill, and even live entertainment. In short, the Luna Park is the best way to come and relax and have fun with your family or group of friends. 9. Royal National Park Just outside the city is the Royal National Park, an exceptional park that you absolutely must explore if you are visiting Sydney. You will be able to immerse yourself in a wild, almost primordial environment, and you will have fun discovering the flora and fauna of Australia. Inside the park, you can walk along the waterfront, marvel at the cliffs, or delve into the rainforest. Certainly noteworthy are the famous eight pools, natural pools carved into the rock with a perfect eight shape, the salt marshes, and the mangrove swamps. You won't be able to believe your eyes how much diversity can be concentrated in a small area. 10. Featherdale Wildlife Park Featherdale Wildlife Park is a nature reserve that is easily accessible by public transport or car and is approximately 40 kilometers from Sydney's CBD. If you love animals, this is the ideal place for you. It is not a zoo, but a real sanctuary where thousands of native species are kept. From mammals to reptiles to birds, the variety of animals that you will be able to observe up close is nothing short of immense. 11. Hyde Park In the past, the area that today has become Hyde Park was a marshy land where the Aboriginal people hunted ducks then. With colonization, it was reclaimed and transformed into a park open to the public. Hyde Park has also served as a war zone and a race course. Since its opening in 1820, Hyde Park has been a place where city dwellers and tourists alike have come to relax in the shade of its many trees. There are many species preserved, from European varieties to palm trees. At every corner, you will be able to discover beautiful glimpses that you will carry forever in your heart. And don't forget to take lots of photos. 12. Queen Victoria Building The Queen Victoria is an iconic palace in the city and is renowned for its magnificent architecture. The building was built in the Roman Renaissance style at the end of the 19th century. Although it was originally used as a seat of the city market, it is now a luxury shopping center, the equivalent of our Renaissance if we want to give an example. But it is not only the exterior that attracts attention, its interior has also retained a lot of character. The central gallery with its metal arches, the stained glass windows, the richly decorated staircases, the great Australian clock surmounted by the Golden Dome. 13. Kame Botany Bay National Park This national park is very popular with both Australians and visitors, partly because it is particularly close to the city and therefore easily accessible, and partly because it is a truly impressive place. Sydney siders love to spend time here with friends and family, especially on weekends. Overlooking the coast, Kame Botany Bay National Park offers trails and boardwalks that are easy to navigate and suitable for everyone. Here, you can enjoy long deserted beaches, cliffs overlooking the ocean, green and harmonious landscapes in contrast with the roughness of the rocks. 14. Auburn Botanical Garden The Auburn Botanic Garden is located in the suburbs of Sydney and is a place frequented more by tourists than by locals. This botanical garden has two beautiful lakes, a waterfall, and several small bridges that make the atmosphere peaceful and charming. Indeed, it is actually one of the favorite places for couples to take romantic photos or as a wedding location. There is no denying that it is romantic and full of charm. It has been entirely set up in Japanese style with peach and cherry trees with pink flowers, zen corners, pagodas, small stone sculptures, and large rectangular wooden arches lacquered in a vibrant red that stands out against the intense green of the dense foliage. If you are visiting Sydney, the Auburn Botanic Garden is worth a look. 15. Westfield, Sydney 
Westfield Sydney is a huge shopping mall located in Sydney's CBD district. It's a great place for a shopping spree. You won't believe how big it is and how many shops there are. Here, you can really find anything from any brand, from mid-range to exclusive. Just to give you an idea, this shopping center is about 92,000 square meters large and even has a valet service. After you've run out of energy looking at shop windows, buying souvenirs, and trying on clothes, finish off on a high note by climbing to the top of the Sydney Tower, have a trendy drink, and dine seated at the table of the famous revolving restaurant, the restaurant that slowly turns up itself to offer you a 360-degree view of the city. 16. Warnings 1. Do not fish west of the Harbour Bridge. Up until the 1970s, it was the custom for the various factories overlooking Sydney Bay to release their waste into the sea, including harmful substances which unfortunately still pollute Sydney Harbour today. 2. Feed the seagulls at the fish market. Not only is this unhygienic in the place where you eat, but you risk that in no time at all, your table, with you and your food included, will be literally stormed by dozens and dozens of seagulls, pigeons, and ibis. 3. Forgetting to put on sunscreen. The sun in Australia is extremely strong and dangerous, and the ozone hole is a sad reality. Do not turn up your nose at 50 protection creams. The only alternative is 30. 4. Drink alcohol in public places. Australia is a so-called nanny state, and as such, it has rules and laws to control virtually every aspect of social life. The prohibition of drinking alcohol in many public places is among the many rules envisaged, in particular, on most beaches and city parks, as well as on the streets of the CBD and on public transport, the consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. 5. Going out too late Australia is a country that wakes up early and goes to bed early, and Sydney is no different. If it is true that you will find people running, surfing, or yoga in the park at dawn, it is equally true that Sydney siders lock themselves up at sunset or shortly after. If you plan to go out to dinner after 21, know that your choice will be limited only to pubs. 6. Swimming in the Bay Sydney Harbour is one of the most beautiful natural bays in the world, and it's only natural to want to swim in its blue waters, especially during the hot summer months. But don't be fooled, because Sydney Harbour is very polluted.